right, here we are today, early April, down here at Smith Mountain Lake, uh, my home lake. But I wouldn't call myself an expert out here. Um, put in with our buddies here at uh, Parkway Marina, down here on the lower end of the lake. A little bit clearer water. It's good because you can kind of go any direction on the lake. Uh, I took my kids fishing actually yesterday, my girls, and that was, that was fun. We had a lot of fun. We caught a few. So I can tell you that the fish are just starting to spawn. Uh, we're gonna go out here today is one of those country club days, perfect for bed fishing, but we might try to catch a few stagers, might try to fish a few docks. We might, might actually find a few on beds. Not sure what we're gonna, gonna see, but I can tell you right now, it is a beautiful day, a beautiful day to be on the water. So we are gonna go fishing out here. All right, so I just rolled up, um, kind of got my bait snagged, and got up there and I saw, saw there's a buck bass on a bed up here, so we're just gonna pitch the baby D-bomb in there and see, see what she'll do, or he'll do, I should say. It's in the shade, a little glare, it's, you kind of see it. Sometimes when you pitch in there, you can pitch your bait in there and then, and then you can see, the, you can, and then the fish will move and then you can see what's going on. I hadn't got a good look. I saw the fish a second ago. Take me another minute or two to read this fish, probably. When you're bed fishing, the you know, first thing you want to look for is you know, how tight are the fish to the, to the bed. And the other thing you look at is do they acknowledge your bait? You know, when you pitch in there, do they, do they turn and look at it? You know, when you shake it, do, the, do they turn and look at it? Those are, the, those are two, big, two big things. And then, uh, the other deal is, is that the mood of the fish, once you work them for a few minutes, sometimes the mood of those fish will change from the time you got up to them till, the, you know, till, you, till they go ready to, to be caught. I mean, you know, males and females, same, can be the same, you know, that you throw in there, and the more you throw in there, kind of agitate them, get them defensive, get them territorial, and then you can, then you can catch them. And then that's the fun part. It's, a, it's just a cat and mouse game, and I love it. I love it. If I can get them to bite it, I, you know, I really like the little baby D-bomb because it's so small. I got the El Diablo just because it's kind of a, you know, accent color. Color's not a huge deal, in my opinion, for, for bed fishing. Uh, sometimes I like kind of a wilder color. Green pumpkin, I've caught a ton on that. Green pumpkin flash is one of my favorites. First cast on that quiver. That's it right there. Oh gosh, look how strong. Whoa, Jack. He's coming over here. Fired up. Got him. Got him. About a three pound buck right there. Yeah, it's crazy because I, you know, I've been, I saw that fish. I knew he was, uh, knew he was getting territorial. Fished him with the baby D bomb. He was starting to get in the right mood. Threw that destroyer in there. About four or five casts, that big old destroyer. Definitely changed that fish's mood. First cast with the quiver 4.5 and uh, line jumped, nailed him. But I got that uh, Brett Ayler G finesse, that G finesse hook. Uh, it, it it gets them. But yeah, nice. That's three pound buck, man. We'll put him on the bed, let him slide back over there to the old uh, to the old bed. Protect it, protect it. So he, he look at his tail. His tail's even fresh, man. He hadn't even he hadn't even really started getting after it. So we're gonna leave him let him uh, reproduce, make some more big old largemouth out here in Smith Mountain Lake. So there it is right there, that's the Quiver 4.5 and Watermelon Candy Red. Got that G-Finesse hook in there. That thing is a stud, man. It When you get them, you, you get them. And they got a little, uh, I'll take it out so you can see it. It's a little 132nd ounce 
missile baits, Neko weight, just goes, slides right in there. I pitched it in there, like I said, right after, right after the destroyer. Uh, I did not like, I could tell his mood was changing, one cast, got him. Now we'll keep finding some more. Oh, you little rat. He drifted right on up there. He was sitting out closer to the stump. Got him. Ah, oh, in the world. He never flared, so I'm probably, probably catch him. He <clears throat> never stung him, I should say. Like if you work in these bed fish and, and you sting them, sometimes they'll, they'll act real funny. But sometimes if you just pull on them like that, it doesn't affect them at all. Actually, it'll bite like the next cast sometimes. Uh-oh, he's on it. Yeah, he's swirling around on it. Got him. Got him. Got a little girth to him. Got a little girth to him. The quiver strikes again. A little ratty buck bass. These things can be real tricky this time of year, but Whoever has been. Get back here, buddy. I got you. About a pound and three quarters, not quite two pounds. Not quite. But yeah, he, uh, same one. Same quiver, 4.5, watermelon red candy. Decent little buck. Like I said, when they first move up like this, they can be a little tricky, but he fell for it. He didn't want the he didn't want the bigger bait. He didn't want the destroyer or the or the baby D bomb. But he definitely look. Oh, he's got a little PP. Got a little PP action. Gets excited. We'll put him back. Put him back. Put him guard the guard that bed. Make some more spawners. Yeah, the Necker rig's been. He's kind of become my go-to for fishing like this around spawning areas. I mean, you can catch fish on shaky head for sure, uh, drop shot, um, you know, wacky rig, things like that. They can be can be very good, but something about that Neko rig, I don't know if it's the, it's the vertical and then the wacky to it, but I just like, I like fishing it in those areas just like we're doing now. You know, the docks and the banks that they're spawning on. I like fishing those type of areas with the, with the Neko. I think you can catch a higher percentage of them than in some of the other presentations that I just mentioned. Uh, plus, as you know, if you've seen, it's it's also very good for catching them off beds. Those fish, they were, you know, surprisingly, they didn't they didn't hit that baby D bomb, which I know. I mean, I've caught hundreds on the baby D bomb off of beds, and uh, destroyer didn't really show a lot of interest in that. And until I dropped the the little uh, Neko on them, that's the deal. Just keep fishing it around those spawning areas. And, uh, and then when you see the fish, then you can kind of work those. And that's what we're, this is what we're doing today. Uh, we're gonna keep, keep fishing around and see what develops. Get it into the bed, let's see what happens. What do you think of that, buddy? What do you think of that? The glare, I can't see exactly what's going on, but I'm, oh yeah, here we go. And change color. Change color D-bombs just to see. Let's see if we can get a brim color. Let's go with candy grass. Very brim. Got a little flash to it, a little purple. Change it up a little bit. Got three out Gamagatsu hook on it, 20 pound Sunline shooter, just a 5 16 tungsten weight. That's the deal right there. A lot of times that'll do it. Fish, you're not big enough to be this picky. Gotcha, gotcha. Whoa. <laughs> Baby D-bomb does the trick. That one had to, had to throw over that limb, so I had to pull out the flipping stick. The old Baby D-bomb, you know, I was throwing that old Diablo and this fish wasn't, just, wasn't acting right. So I switched over to the candy grass. Definitely a brim color and uh, voila, nice little bed and bass. The 
my sun shield out. Get my protection. Protection, there it is. Got my little bag here with all my sun stuff in it. Take and put that bad boy, that bad boy right on. I can put it on like that. Then I'll put my hat on over top of it. And then put my sunglasses on. John Cruz sunglasses, by the way. Put them on. Now I got my sun protection. Good to go. Big it. Big it. Yeah. Yes. Come here. Big it. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Woo. Dude, that destroyer and biggins cannot stand it. Can't stand it. Yes. Oh, got my got to. He yacked him, boy. Whew. That's a five plus right there. Yes, sir. So that's my that's my money setup right there. It's just a big missile baits uh, destroyer, green pumpkin flash, five aught gamakatsu, heavy cover worm hook, 25 pound sunline shooter. You see a big one lurking around. That's the that's the ticket right there. Whew. All right, big girl, go over there and get back on your bed. Bye bye. So I'm gonna put a little heavier. This is a 1 8 ounce Nico Neko 8. Put that bad boy in there. Get something scratching the bottom. I rig it just like I've been rigging it. But have that with a little more weight in it and see what happens. Uh oh. There she is. Baby D bomb got him my time. Yes, sir. Another good one. Oh, got the old leaf on there. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Look at that big old long fish right there. Whew. Had that D bomb, that baby D bomb down in there. Yes, sir. Had to work on that fish a little bit. There it is. Candy grass did the job. That's a three plus, man. Three and a half, easy. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, that's kind of my middle ground right there. That's the, the baby D bomb. I got that on a 7.6 cash and medium heavy flipping stick. Got the uh, Kamikatsu 3 aught heavy cover worm hook, 5 16 ounce weight, 20 pounds online shooter, Daiwa high speed, Tatula 100. Bam, fish like that, fish off the beds. Yeah, that's my kind of my, my combo, is you know, has been that's my medium. The destroyers, my large, my big, uh, my big. Sometimes they like that. Sometimes it agitates them, and then, and then obviously the quiver on smaller stuff and uh, drop shot, bomb shot can be good as well on small stuff. But that's what's up right there. Pretty awesome. We'll get her back in there. Get her back in. Well, man, that was uh, that was a lot of fun. You know, I was in the office this morning and at the missile baits office taking care of some things and then we got out here uh, middle of the day just fished a few hours in the afternoon had a had a ball uh, definitely definitely fish spawning you know it's like one of the first couple days that they're that they've uh, moved up on beds just had to had to kind of mix things up a little bit uh, it's kind of typical bed fishing you know sometimes fish respond better to bigger baits sometimes they want medium-sized baits sometimes they want the small baits uh, we kind of had that combination going with the with the destroyer, baby D bomb, and the and the quiver. Uh, so that's uh, I, I expect the next next couple weeks here at Smith Mountain will be be kind of the same way. A lot of a lot of fish on beds. Uh, shad are going to start spawning soon, so you got to watch out for that bite. Not I don't think that bite's quite happening yet, but you know it's sunny middle of the day. That that deal's not going to be working quite yet. But 
Man, I had a lot of fun out here. Uh, it's one of my favorite lakes in the whole country, the whole world to fish. And uh, anytime I get out here, I just, I just love it, especially when you can have that little cat and mouse game known as bed fishing. <laughs>